Uh, hey guys, uh, Landon13 here, and today we're doing another Bendy and Ink Machine content. Instead of doing the chapters this time, we're going to be looking at the bonus chapters. We're going to be looking at the bonus chapter. The archives. So let's go and look at it, shall we? So, of course, this is unlocked after when you've beaten all the chapters of the game. And this is the, this is like a museum, so, yeah. So let's go and read this. Welcome to the archives. Bendy and Ink Machine began when a developer slash cartoonist known as the Meatly experience would bring a sketch 2D style into a 3D world. After turning the idea into a horror game, chapter one of the game was created. In a little under a week with programming slash friend Mike Mood and released on February the 10th in 2017. Much to their surprise, it's, it struck the crowd with global indie gamers almost overnight. The Meatly and Mike Mood decided to drop all other projects to work on Bendy and tell a most unquote in ink story. <laughs> and the entire game was completed a chapter at a time in a year and a half by a small but dedicated group of indie developers. Although the concept and the story remains as originally intended, the game changed over development as characters and models were refined sorry were were refined from their early thrown together versions. This archive is a is a peek behind the scenes at the at the pro Grass. So this is the archives, so basically all the uh, development from Bendy and Ink Machine shows you the step by step. But here we go, here's the first one. Henry Stein, once an equal business partner of Joey Drew, Henry Stein was a talented animator and character designer until leaving the company around 1930. His place in Joey Drew Studios History is somewhat undocumented, but he often rumored to be the true creator behind many of the studio's most memorable, memorable characters. So this is Henry. Of course, we don't see him because, well, we never get a good look at him. So yeah, that's Henry Stein, the main character. So yeah, there's a lot of things. Bendy and Ink Machine logo on the roof. So... The first thing's off, let's go and have a look at Inkbendy himself. So, of course, the evolution of Inkbendy himself. So, you've got, like, posters on the walls and she's got a girl and stuff. The Joey Drew Studios, um, thing. Anyways, <clears throat> Comset Bendy. This is the first version of Bendy ever modelled in the earliest concepts. Bendy was much smaller and cuter with a face that splits open to reveal a terrifying mouth. So this is like before Ink Bendy. So of course this is Bendy's original design before it got changed into that. So of course it looks, it basically looks like the exact Bendy cutout cartoon we see. But it reveals to have a uh, split mouth open. So yeah, a bit terrifying. But yeah, 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 pretty much. Alright, the next Bendy we all know and love. Alpha Bendy. This is the original game used design of, of Ink Bendy from the earliest version of Chapter 1. It is jokingly referred referred to as Bird Poop with a smile among the developer team. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. So this is like the original um, uh, Ink Bendy model. I do remember seeing this on YouTube and it scared the living daylights out of me. But yeah, this is like the original model, of course, and to be quite honest, it does actually look like bird poop with smile on it. So yeah, there's the beast bendy one. Alright, Beta Bendy. This was Ink Bendy's form until the release of Chapter 4. At that time, the game received a major visual up upgrade and the title character got a new model as well. So this is Beta Bendy, the one we've been following throughout chapters 1, 2 and 3 before chapter 4. 
and this is a most love iconic design I got I might say you can see how it's like just yeah the details are very nice on this model and I really like this model actually it looks really nice yeah ink bendy ink bendy as we know him today although similar to beta bendy this upgrade version was remodeled enhanced with a higher polygon count and given new ink effects so this is um ink bendy's new design and i love how we get up close and personal now so of course we got ink bendy's um smile with the ink dripping down and yeah it's like you've got like a skeletal thing on the back but although amazing very amazing there's the the creature's hand all right Beast Bendy, Inks, Ink Bendy's horrific final form in Chapter 5 pulled away the cartoon fabric and revealed the demon within. So this is basically Bendy's final form at the end of Chapter 5. Of course he turned into this thing. So of course it's not, it, because, so basically it's not Ink Bendy anymore. It's more of a uh, demonic creature, just made out of ink. Nothing. It's just nothing. It's really cool. Like we get up close and personal. We would normally be running away, but yeah, pretty nice design if I do say myself. Now we're gonna get to the searches. So, of course, that's a Sammy Williams one. Now we got the Butcher Gang members. Okay, better searcher. Early in the development, with just a few weeks to the create to create chapter two, the beta searches were designed in record time before being fully retuned. Tooled later on, they were the first. They were the first fighting enemies counted in the game. So this is the beta searcher. Also remember chapter two being released. Of course, this is like more of a uh, a cartoony design. Of the searcher, not really great, but it looks great. But yeah. Final searcher. The final searches were far more robust in appearance. They were smoother with better ink effects and a more human appearance. So of course they have a cartoonish appearance, but they also have human appearance. And this is the searcher we come to know and love today. Yeah, here we go, Sammy Lawrence, Beta Sammy, with his first appearance in Chapter 2, fan favourite Sammy Lawrence becomes, sorry, became a terrifying entertaining character when his sim build was deemed not threatening enough, he was redesigned and given a better skeletal rig for more advanced animation, so this is Sammy Lawrence's um, beta Sammy's design. Of course, if you look at his feet, it's more of stumps. The mask re remains the same, just more paper mache, if I do so myself. Then he's got the little, uh, I don't know what that is, but yeah, that's beta Sammy. Final Sammy. Sammy Lawrence's final form came completed with a bulk up stat. Sorry, statue and more powerful limbs. The mad songwriter may finally get noticed now, at least by fans. So this is the Sammy Lawrence we come to know and love today. Of course, he got more of a, of a um, well, since that design, he got more of a, um, more of a threatening pose. He's got the axe right there, got his mask right there, and of course, the, the black boots and... Resuming that would be Boris's um overall, so yeah. Sammy Lawrence. Bloody threatening. Here's the lost ones. Here's one of the lost ones. And <laughs> now that's sad. Why did you have to put him in there? Ah, oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh. You just put him in a case like not just just for display. And then here are our characters, so First off is uh, Twisted Alice, and I gotta say we get we get a close up view of uh, of uh, Twisted Alice. Oh, she's got her, she's like um she's like Two Face from Batman. 
course, there's her um, disgusting side, and then there's her fine side. So yeah, this is um, Twisted Alice. Pretty much twisted, if you do say myself. And then here is Alison Angel, the one we came to know during Chapter 5. We get a good look at her. She's basically similar to um, Twisted Alice's design, but instead it doesn't have really that twisted um, face. And a lot more detail too. So you can see she's wielding a little, uh, well, machete. You also got like the little um, parts and a little pouch. Bear overall, really good design. And then we got Tom. Of course, of course, putting Tom behind the giant ink machine with that little ink machine being lowered onto the giant ink machine. But yeah, this is our uh, Tom, or just Tom Boris, and he has a uh, mechanical arm. And pretty much cartoonish, but a bit more angrier, too, so, yeah, pretty much. Now we get to Boris. Beta Boris Papa was the original name of the character that eventually became Boris the Wolf. This earlier version was released with Chapter 1. He was quickly refined into the Boris we know today, with the release of Chapter 2, so... So I do remember this model. This was a uh, Beta Boris or just Papa. This is basically just disturbing. It's just got black ink everywhere. Um, you got Boris's um, face shocked, and then you got his um little ill, ill, just his little um thing opened up. Yuck, gross. Just why? Ha, Boris the wolf. Boris the Wolf, a friend to the end, was the sign using ver various references from cartoons of the 1920s. A blend of West Coast and East Coast animation styles, this silent and supportive wolf won over the hearts of many, although at times he was a headache for the developer team due to his AI taking on a mind of his own during production. So this is the lovable Boris and we couldn't save him in the end so that sucked but we get a good view at Boris. Boris is um, looking at that design he's like ew what is that? But yeah this is Boris the Wolf. Brute Boris, Alice Angel's monstrous monst monstrosity. Bruce Boris was one of the biggest surprises of Chapter 4. His design was roughly based on the Frankenstein monster, but with more, but with a more unfinished appearance, Alice took parts from within him and and sub things that his body is rapidly rejecting. So this is Boris we had to take down in chapter four of course he's just a monstrosity now from that boris to this boris he's just he's just not in the right mind his organs are showing a poor guy we put him out of his misery at the end it was sad to see him go and that's a nice little painting there okay so let's go and have a look at the butcher gang now the butcher gang the Piper, the Striker, and the Fisher make up the dreaded Butcher Gang. Imps, imps, uh, the ink corrupted versions of the characters were designed first and then were reverse engineered back into their more family friendly cutting form. So these forms we seen throughout, throughout the game, these were the first models we see before the, the designers took took basically well the model back in the friendly cutting but you can see how monstrous and hideous these things are you get a good view at them without attacking us but yeah the butcher gang that's a lovely name and then of course we've got Perbert um uh Bertie I'm gonna call him Bertie I don't really care what the head of him from chapter 4 boss fight get a nice little uh, glimpse of him ew Sorry, dude. 
course, the last thing I'm saved to is the ink machine. Let's go and read it, shall we? Ritual ink machine. Before a major visual upgrade, this version of the ink machine was the one used in the game. Much of this machine's icon, icon, fan love, fan, fans love design was translated into the final version. So this is the ink machine before chapter four took over and rehauled it into the one we know today. But this is the original ink machine. Of course, you got the the. Well, it wasn't really crazy. It wasn't really hooked up to anything. Of course, the back here has got ink, of course. But to think of this ink machine from the design we got today, it's pretty impressive how this little one turned into that big giant one that was lowering onto a massive one in the game. So, yeah, this is pretty much an iconic uh, machine we get to see. But yeah, this is what the ink machine used to look like before before the remastered. So that's cool. That's really cool. But I'm gonna um, end this video here. Um, I will probably be playing a older version of Chapter One because, well, I just want to play the older version of Bendy Chapter One because um, I saw Super Horrorbro Mike did it, and, he, and I'm like, yeah, why not? But yeah, this is the archives of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Really great game. This is like an extra little uh, thing just to have a look at. And all the designs were great. But um, anyways, um, if you did um, enjoy this video, make sure to click the like button. Click the notification bell and click the subscribe button to become Team 13. It really helps out the channel a lot. Make sure to check out my bendy content. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Landon13 signing off for now. Bye-bye.